So what I'm going to try to do here is uh, show how to do heart variability analysis using LabChart 8. This is the software that comes with PowerLab um, from AD Instruments. Um, so this I have uh, I have the LabChart 8 Pro, so I'm able to download modules. Um, so you have all these modules across the top here, and heart rate variability is one of those modules. So HRV right here. So what I'm going to do is just, I, I have some uh, equipment on right now. So I have the ECG electrodes, as you can, you can see right here, there's the, the uh, right arm lead, um, and there's the ECG signal coming in in real time. Um, I also have respiratrace on, which because I'm talking, it looks pretty noisy, but see, I took a breath in there. You can see that it, the signal went up, um, and as I take the breath out, the signal comes down. Um, you also have the ability within lab chart to do um, real-time calculations of heart rate so you can see where you are in this sort of tachygram on the bottom here so right now my heart rate's hovering around 60 beats per minute so typically you want to um, have at least a couple minutes i would say at least two minutes of data to analyze heart rate variability um, more is probably better but two to five minutes from um, the papers I've read is pretty typical and from what I've done in the past is also pretty typical. So um, we're about a minute in now. I'll just kind of hang out here so you can see the signals come in a little clearer um, without me talking and I'll, I'll fast forward this uh, for you. Okay, so there's about three and a half minutes worth of data here. Um, the lab chart, I have been able to figure out how to make it analyze just a section of that data. So um, typically what I would like to be able to do is just sort of highlight a section like this and then analyze that. Um, so again, I haven't really been able to figure out how to do this. I'm new to using lab chart 8 for heart rate variability. But one thing that I have done in the past for other analysis with lab chart um, that I have manual work here too is so you highlight whatever section it is you want. You go up here to, uh, to file and where is it? Save selection. So if you do save selection, it opens up your typical save as file and allows you to save um, a lab chart file that is just the, the time that you have selected. So it would be just this gray box. So once you do that, you could do this analysis that I'm about to show you and it'll be just for the um, time that you want to analyze. Um, but for now, let's just show you the basics, which is how to analyze the entire time segment that you have. So again, for me, it's about three and a half minutes. And you can see at the top of all of these R waves for the ECG, we have these little dots here. Those little dots um, are telling you that the system was able to uh, recognize that as an ECG R wave. And so that will be counted in the um, heart rate variability analysis. Um, so uh, something I probably should have started with at the beginning, just the settings. Um, so if you go into the settings, so again, the HRV module, hit this first button for settings. Um, the setting I have on is obviously human because I'm currently uh, hooked up to it, but there are other settings that you can do. Um, and then it's got all the sort of presets here that I'm not going to mess with. But to analyze it, we can just simply go up to this button, hit analyze, or we can go across the top, go to the HRV modules drop down list, and hit analyze channel. All right, so nothing happened, but it did analyze the channel. Um, if we want to get a report view, which is going to give you just the raw numbers, or not the raw numbers, but just the uh, finalized numbers, you hit this little button here, and here it is. Here are all the values that you typically want when doing heart rate variability analysis. There are obviously lots of other values you can get. Other systems like Kubio software will give you a lot more numbers than this, but this is a, a still, for how quick and easy it is, this is a pretty good um, uh, data output, a lot of numbers, a lot of useful information. Um, so you can see here the total beats, so there's 202 heartbeats um, in this three and a half minute period of time for me and it did not detect any of them as ectopic heartbeats. So it does have the ability to detect ectopic heartbeats automatically. Um, I haven't seen any in any of my analysis with this. I'm not exactly sure how good it would be, 
Um, but I assume it does a reasonable job because I have this ECG analysis um, module also installed. Um, so some other things you can do, you can go up to this uh, B classifier view and it's going to show you all the heartbeats, um, all of them based on their R to R interval um, in this, uh, this figure here. So one cool thing you can do with this is you can click on an individual heartbeat and figure out where it is in your tracing. So let's say we want to see this beat that's all the way to the left here. I'm going to click on it and real quick you're going to see a little dot at the top of the um, ECG tracing screen and that's where we are. So there it was. So this is the heartbeat um, that I clicked on. So let's go back to that um, this classifier. So again, do the same thing maybe on the top end. Just make sure that the heartbeats that are on the top and the bottom of the end of the spectrum aren't um, some sort of weird noise or artifacts, um, which can easily happen uh, with ECG. If you're used to doing ECG, you know that. Um, but what you could do, let's say this bottom one was artifacts. We can drag these boxes in. So let me there it goes. And you can exclude the beat. So I had just excluded this beat just by simply dragging that box in. So you can also do that in the top end. Um, get a little glitchy, there we go. Um, and so you can cut out beats as you, uh, as you desire doing it that way. Um, so let's look at some of these other things up here. So analysis plots. So it's got a lot of plots that you can look at. Some very typical plots that people look at when they do heart rate variability analysis. So this is just the um, the RR intervals at, of each beat throughout the tracing. We have, let's see, some histograms here. Uh, so there's one histogram and then the delta histogram. Um, and we have the point care plot. Um, and the power spectrum, which is what most people are probably most used to seeing. Um, but again, that's it. That's really all there is to the analysis. Uh, here's your report view. And you could simply probably copy and paste these out or type them elsewhere. Um, or you can try to come up with some sort of template that would allow you to save this and, um, and get all the data into a single row, which is typically what I try to do with my type of my analysis. So all right, I hope that was helpful and thank you.